You know, I do wonder what the, what these people must be thinking in this house over here. This train's just been stopped here for ages. Hello and welcome back to Train Sim World Great Western Express. I have been stopped here for quite a while. It must have been about five to maybe five to seven minutes I've just been sitting here. But we are now cleared. We're going to be swapping over. And I think I know why, because uh, about three minutes ago, uh, a class 166 DMU passed us a couple of tracks over so obviously we're swapping over so that's why we've had to wait all this time that being said I feel as though I could have I could have got in ahead of him I could have got in in front so you know they should have just let me go that would have been a lot better uh, I don't know what the speed of the crossing is so I'm going to only take this up to 20 miles an hour and I'm going to hold it at 20 miles an hour until I know what the speed of the crossing is which is probably quite high to be completely honest it's probably a fairly high speed but I do need to know there we go there's the speed it's a 40 mile an hour crossing okay so we're okay to go across that's fine let's get ourselves underway we have uh, is it 12 miles to go yep 12 miles to go to Reading so I'm going to kick up the power another notch as we continue on our way and there we go we're now crossing over so I don't know why we crossed over in the first place I thought maybe we were crossing over to get ahead of that class 166 which you may have seen at the end of the last episode you may have seen that uh, as we passed the station right, are we crossing over even further or not no we're not crossing over any further so we're going to go up to 60 or 75 should be 60 right I think we should be 60 I'm just going to check this although we do have an amber light ahead of us again but I do want to know what the speed limit is going to become is it going to be 60 is it going to be 75 it is 75 uh, that light's gone green but I'm going to Accelerate at this speed for the very reason that it's it's going to be a, a bit of a it's going to be a little bit of time. Where are we? Maidenhead. Thought so. It's not something. I mean, yeah, you got a freight train going through a passenger station. This is it's fairly fairly neat. It right, looks like we've kicked into another gear just now. So we're going to continue accelerating. 11 miles to go to ready. And now I am going to power up all the way. There we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the last episode. I know it's not the most riveting of... Uh, it's not the most riveting of videos, but, you know... Everyone needs a video to calm down a little bit. Transport fever is fairly hectic. Uh, Flight Sim World is always fairly hectic. There's a lot to do in there. Airport CEO is hectic. A set of courses very hands-on, very fast. This is a little bit more calm, a bit more relaxed. That's that's what it's there for. All right, green aspect, so clear clear signals ahead of us. We're going to get ourselves right up to line speed now. Well, actually, line speed is 90. I can't actually get to 90. But I'll be getting myself up. Oh, wrong way. I'll be getting myself up as much as I can. Everything seems okay. So I'm, I'm guessing we'll probably get ourselves up to about 70 again, like I did last time. And then we'll handle it from there. So we're well out of London now, as you, as you saw, the last station we just passed through was Maidenhead. So it's it's pretty much a, a solid run now, all the way to all the way to uh, Didcot Yard, which is near Reading. I have noticed in all that in all that stopping at the red at the red signal, uh, I have noticed that the clouds do move. Uh, it looks like the skybox is rotating. Oh, hello. That's fancy.
Now you can see that we're doing about 60, so that train, that train is probably doing about 75. It's doing about 75 as it as it accelerates. It's still accelerating further. We're not going to catch that because that's going to be doing 125 very soon. As you can see, we're doing 65. That's already probably doing 80, 90. As it as it sails away, oh, it sails away, <laughs> rails away. That's not a term. Rails away is not a term. If you guys are wondering again why the DSD ISIL switch is on or the light is on up here, that red light there, don't worry about it. I've done that on purpose. I just don't know the key for the DSD, so I don't want to. I don't want to be um pressing it because I don't know what the key is and I can't just. I don't want to constantly look down and be hitting that foot plate. So yeah. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Continuing to pass through very nicely. 70 miles per hour now. Remember the line speed is 90, but we're not going to be able to reach that because the max speed on this train, as you'll see right there, 75. I wonder if now, if we open the window, will it make a difference? No. I don't know why it doesn't make a difference. And these, are they mirrors? If they're mirrors, they don't work. They might be mirrors, you know. Interesting. Very interesting. It's going to ease up on the throttle a little bit. We do have another yellow signal ahead of us. So I'm actually going to ease up on the throttle completely here. There we go. We're completely off the throttle. Should get a warning for this very, very soon. It's a double yellow, so we're okay. At least it looks like a double yellow to me. Cancel that. And I'm going to slow ourselves down very slowly in case the next one is a yellow. I'm going to slow ourselves down to uh, 60 miles an hour. Very slowly though because I don't think the next one is a yellow. I'm going to get, get on the brakes a little bit more now. And we are going down to 60 anyway. I think that speed limit was 60. No it wasn't. That's interesting. Uh, that may have jumped up to a double yellow again. So I'm actually going to hold it at 60 until I can... Let's zoom in on that. Yeah, that's a double yellow. Definitely a double yellow. So I'm actually going to... Ease up on this and hold ourselves at about 55 miles per hour. Give ourselves a little bit of power. Watch that next one. That's a single yellow. No, it's not. It says it's gone up to a double yellow again. Cancel that. This is getting a little bit better. I was talking about it not being fun, not being interesting, but look at this. We're now chasing yellows right now. This is more like it. Slow ourselves down to 40. Let's see if we can bring that up to a green. Knock ourselves into two notches of power again. We've got a red signal there. How far are we from Reading? 5.2 miles. This looks good enough to pass through. Very cool. That. There's the next one. That's a single yellow, and that must be the red for us up ahead then. So I am going to now get on the brakes at this stage. But we've got plenty, plenty of time to slow this train down now. So that's definitely a red for us. And amazingly, we've caught up to that HST. 
That's incredible. Look at that. We've caught up to the HST. We've got plenty to slow this train down. I think the HST is still moving. And yeah, that's now cleared through. We're not cleared through. I, I'm assuming we're following the HST now. We're going to be swapping over and following the HST. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Ooh, did I time this right? I should have. There we go. Perfect. That was actually very well done, I think. So we're going to be following the HST over, I believe. So again, we're stuck in a... Ah, once again, we're stuck in traffic. I'm fairly sure that HST had to stop. And that's why we caught up to it. Because we wouldn't have caught up to it any other, any other way. There we go, right, yep, we are going to be following us out. So let's get ourselves going. So we're going to be crossing over, that's what those lights on that side are. It's telling us we're crossing over. I do like the LED signals, they're very nice. They are very, very nice. I'm assuming this is going to be another 40 mile an hour crossover. I was going to say check the mirrors, mirror signal manoeuvre, but well, we can't really do that. Alright, very easy, very simple. We're doing well, I think we're doing very well. I haven't jumped a red, I haven't really ruined anything yet. This is off for some reason. Uh, that's what I want. There we go. Just a very handy thing to have that. One twenty five is our speed limit. We're not getting that. find out how far away we are before we start accelerating any further do we have our speed here, up here? we don't actually have our speed here interesting Right, we're through. Now we're going to put the put our foot down all the way again. See, this is a bit more like it: chasing yellows, having to stop, having to start, really being on it. That's that's more like that's more like it. That the long runs is just not it's just not good, especially with, for example, something like um, a train like this where. Picking up speed really does take a while on a, on a faster on a faster train where you can get up to 125 miles an hour or something. Even though it does take a while to pick up speed, it's a lot better because you've got a lot more going on in in that in that situation. Or even better still, there are things like the 166s uh, on this on this sim anyway, where you you're constantly starting and stopping, starting and stopping. That's really cool. Uh, so you know. They're, they're pretty they're pretty handy um, no nope, that's just gone to green for us that's the that's the uh, HST that we're chasing I, I don't know why I'm bothering to slow ourselves down there's no way we're gonna catch up to that HST 
We are only three miles from our destination, but uh, there's no way we're going to be catching the HST. We've gone into the valley. Pretty soon there's going to be like a, a wall, stone walls on either side of us. That's how we know that we're very close to ready. You're about to see them. It looks really nice. I think they, they're about two miles away from Reading, I, I think. Unless we've already passed them. Uh, what's this for? HST 90 and 125, that's fine for us. It's just this we're looking out for. Which is a double yellow. So we're just going to ease through at 55 miles an hour on idle. No big. Cancel that again. Did we already pass through that? I don't think so. Unless we literally just passed through it and I was talking through the whole thing. Maybe we did. Yeah, maybe we did. I think we just we did just pass through it. Well, that's a little bit poor from me. Uh, right, there's a yellow signal. And I can see a red after that. So I'm actually going to slow ourselves down. We'll start slowing ourselves down now. So I don't know what's what's going to happen. Now. So there we go. We're definitely on the brakes now. And we've got a speed limit change, but that's okay. That's not going to matter to us because we are going to slow this train down and we are going to be stopping this train very soon. Cancel that. And we're bringing ourselves right the way down to... 40 miles an hour, even slower than 40. We're at 35 because I can't see the next signal. I'm going to assume it's red. That's my assumption. There it is, it is red. So we are going to be stopping this train very, very soon. At this speed, I can coast along for a little while. After getting used to this train, I believe I can coast along for a little while. And I'll start hitting the brakes on now, very gently. As you can see, there is a rail over to the left-hand side. I think that comes in from Brighton, I think. There we go. I'm just easing on the brakes now. Very, very gently. We are at 30 miles an hour. I'm going to give it a bit more brakes. Now, bring ourselves down very, very nicely four on the pressure right there just see right there brought that down to four we should slow this train down we're not slowing down fast enough that's no good I've done it again haven't I oh no 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 we're okay I did need to momentarily bring it up but we're, we're generally okay I'm just going to leave the brakes on, but I want to try and ease ahead slowly. I, I don't want to stop this train. That's, that's, the, that's the idea. I just want to let it coast. We're in a 60 mile an hour zone now. I think we are going to have to stop the train. Oh, back on the brakes then. Oh, there we go. Managed to avoid stopping the train. It's a 30 mile an hour limit down there. It's another track down there. You can just see it. Right, so we are coming to the end of our run, which is great. Good timing. As you can see, we need to stop in 900 yards. So we're just going to ease this in at about 15 miles per hour that's our next signal right it's pretty much where our next signal is that we need to stop the train it's 
a matter of fact, I mean, I could bring this in at 10 miles an hour and it's not going to really matter. I'll keep it on one. One notch of power. As I bring it in, it looks like we're actually stopping in the Reading platform. I thought we were taking this to Didcot Yard, but uh, apparently not, which is a bit odd. I wasn't expecting that, unless we're pulling over for someone else for a relief crew to take it into the yard which would involve going down to the no no I thought we may, might go down to the left but uh, apparently not so where are we headed still straight apparently oh there we go so run into Reading I wish this line extended all the way to Exeter. Um, that would be really, really great. There is a Train Sim 2000 and whatever version. Um, it's the, is it called Western Main Lines? Western Main Lines DLC by Just Trains, I think? By Just Trains. Combine that with Armstrong Powerhouse's Class 43s, and it's just fantastic absolutely fantastic where does it want to stop yeah that's right it's, it's just brilliant it is genuinely brilliant um, and you can go all the way from London Paddington all the way over to um, what's happened here well, apparently my uh... okay well, there we go, that finished. I, I don't know what happened there. It looked like it, the brakes uh, brakes automatically. But there we go. Uh, yeah, you can take it all the way from London Paddington all the way out to Exeter. And it's really, really great. Okay, so that's that done. It took 53 minutes. Drove uh, 31.37 miles. We walked nothing. We got a total score of 103. As you can see, I'm level 6 now. London Paddington to Reading, we're level 5. And we're still level 0 on the class 66 DBS. I can continue that. I can actually uh, get out of this train if I wanted to. So let's actually get out the train. Onto the platform. Uh, we can't actually... There we go. Oh, there we go. You complete the service. It's, uh, uh, excuse me, you left your door open. You've left your door. <sighs> Running alongside this. Who's in there? It's empty. It's empty. That's... Well, that's where I'm going to end it. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys in another episode of Train Sim World Great Western Express. Uh, please do remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. And, of course, support me on Patreon. Link to that is in the description box below. Your support would be massively massively appreciated i believe this train is now classed as a runaway well best close the rest of the line off i'll see you guys next time